So there's a couple of things to do to make sure that you don't get caught out by any updates uh, from Apple that are kind of automatically happening on your Mac. And the first one is to go to your system preferences and to turn off the auto updates. Now we can update our Mac manually. So by doing this, we're not stopping our Mac from updating permanently. We're just uh, setting it so that we have control over when it updates. So if you go to the Apple and system preferences, like I just did, then basically we want to uncheck this automatically keep my Mac up to date option um, so that our operating system doesn't update. And there's a couple of reasons for this specifically to do with macOS Catalina. And one of the main ones is that if we come to the about this Mac option under the Apple menu, a lot of the apps uh, that are working, if we come into the system report and come down to applications, and we'll just stretch this window out here. The key column that we're looking at here is this 64-bit um, option that we have here. So basically, this is telling us which apps um, that we can see are actually 64-bit enabled. We can reorganize these windows here. So basically, uh, any of these apps that are listed as no uh, will not run uh, in OS Catalina. So if we scroll down, uh, you want to check uh, your working app. So if you're using Adobe apps uh, a lot, then you'll want to scroll down and make sure the versions of the Adobe software that you have uh, are going to actually work in OS Catalina, for instance. So we can organize uh, those there so you can go through and check uh, which applications will work and which are 64-bit. Um, if you do the automatic update and a few people have been caught out by this, then you may find that some apps that you use regularly in your work will stop working. Uh, so basically my approach and a lot of professionals approach to working with the new operating system on their main Mac is to delay for as long as possible um, simply because that lets all the bugs be found out uh, lets everyone else uh, who rushes into the update test it uh, and then hopefully um, you'll run into less problems when you kind of jump into uh, those updates having said that Mac OS Catalina from the reports that I've heard and from the small tests that I've done seems a lot faster um, with rendering in Final Cut Pro 10 with working in Final Cut Pro 10 because it's using some of the system architecture in a more advanced uh, way uh, and that will kind of make your workflow quicker but hold off for as long as possible if you can otherwise you could find yourself uh, getting stuck not being able to use some of the applications that you actually need from a day-to-day -day, uh, basis